Hey Tired Mamas, it's Mary Grace from The Cradle Coach and today I have the honor of reviewing the Wolino Sleep Sack. So I'm going to cover what I like about it, my apprehensions, and whether or not I think it's worth that big investment. Let's check it out. Okay, so before we get started, let's talk a little bit about why we love sleep sacks at the Cradle Coach. Okay, well first of all, let's state the obvious. Safety. Safety is first. And when you use a sleep sack, you don't have to worry about loose blankets in the crib. So, you know, above all, if anything, use a sleep sack for safety reasons. Um, you know, decreases any risk of suffocation and just keeps your little one safe and cozy in their crib. The second reason I love sleep sacks is it's a great transitional tool out of the swaddle. When your little one is in a swaddle, they're nice and cozy, really compact and really, you know, they're, they're comfortable. And so when you take that swaddle away, once they do start rolling, it's a big transition. So the sleep sack can give them that extra comfort that they need, um, but it also gives them a little bit more freedom. And that's freedom that they do need to self-soothe, to use their arms to roll and, and things like that. So it is the perfect transition once you're done with the swaddle and something that can last a really long time. Another reason I love sleep sacks is, well, because it's a sleepy cube. It's kind of like a sound machine, darkness. You know, we always preach dark, dark room. When you put this, the sleep sack on your little one, it immediately tells them, okay, it's time to sleep. And the easier we can make it for our little ones to know it's time to sleep, it's time to eat, etc., the better. Um, you know, babies and toddlers just thrive on routine. And so when they, when they put the sleep sack on, it tells them, okay, it's time to wind down, it's time to sleep. And it makes that transition from wake time, play time, to nap time or bedtime a lot smoother. Um, and so that's another thing I love about it. And lastly, this isn't the case for everyone, but um, some toddler parents come to us saying, my 18 month old is already climbing out of the crib. And we ask, okay, do you have a sleep sack? And oftentimes it's no. So if your little one is crawling out early and you don't have a sleep sack, it's a great thing to try to kind of buy yourself some time keep them in that crib since we want them in the crib until they're 25. <laughs> Not really, but you know, pretty close. So, um, you know, that is kind of like our go-to first question. Okay, is your child in a sleep sack if they are climbing out early? So those are some things that we love about sleep sacks. Okay, let's talk about the Wolino sleep sack. They were kind enough to send it to me and I was excited because I'm the kind of person who has tried 30 swaddles, 20 sleep sacks, just searching for the perfect one. Um, and you know, I don't necessarily think there is a perfect one out there just because a product like a sleep sack or a swaddle or a bassinet alone will not be the reason your child sleeps through the night. It is the foundation that you lay in place and the habits that you teach your child. But a sleep sack can absolutely help to keep them comfortable, to keep that routine, and to give off that sleepy cue that I talked about. So, I was a little bit worried about the Bolino sleep sack because of the price tag. It's about $99. I wasn't exactly sure why. Now let me tell you why I love it. It is a universal size. So, as you can see here, it's very long. This fits two months to 24 months old. Um, and so the length, no problem. I have a 20 month old and I put her right in it by first just unbuckling one of these sides, unzipping the side very easily, zipping her right back up. And because she's on the bigger side for this sleep sack, I just don't button this extra button right here that's kind of under the armpit, that's great for smaller babies. So I don't buckle that and then she has plenty of room in it. So sizing was no issue for her. And it, I don't worry about the size for newborns just because you'll see 
The neckline is very high and that's a great safety feature that we do look for in sleep sacks. Um, one thing I was concerned about, I do usually love a zipper in the middle because it's just convenient. But after looking at this product and comparing it to other sleep sacks I have, you know, the clasps, the little buttons here keep it from stretching out and not having that zipper there for babies to suck on is a potential safety hazard. I think it's actually a really good call. This fabric is high quality and so I really do love how they've done this neckline and think it works for the universal sizing factor. So. Other than universal sizing, something else I love about it is the temperature regulation. Now, another concern I had, okay, wool. When I hear wool, I think heat, I think too hot, super warm, and that's not what I want my baby to sleep in at night. But after getting the product, you see how thin that fabric is. It's not too thick at all and it's going to be lined with that merino wool and then the outside is 100% cotton. Um, the fabric's actually pretty cool to the touch so I'm not worried about my little one getting too hot. Um, and the fabric is um, a temperature regulator. So that basically just means if it's cold outside, it's going to keep your little one warm. If it's hot outside, it's going to keep them cooler. Now obviously it's up to you as the parent how you dress them underneath based on the weather. But um, it's really high quality fabric and you can use it four seasons all year long. So let's talk about this. Do we think it's worth that price tag? Well, you can use it all year long. You can use it from two months old to 24 months old. So basically you can use it for two years straight. So buy yourself one or two, and if you love it, you're set with sleep sacks. I've spent so much money, multiple sizes of sleep sacks throughout the years, so I do think while it's an investment, if you shop smart and it's one of the only ones you get, you take care of it, then I do think it's absolutely worth it. Um, it's machine washable. I hung mine up afterwards. I did throw it in the, um, the dryer to kind of fluff it out, soften it up when I was done. Totally in great shape. And um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Wooly No Sleep Sack. So I do recommend it if you're um, in the market for one. And they have lots of cute designs. I got a very neutral sheep design. But um, yeah, I am saying thumbs up for Wooly No. If you liked this video and you want more sleep tips, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you're following us on Instagram at The Cradle Coach. And of course, check out our blog at thecradlecoach.com for tons of different product reviews and lots of sleep tips. Sweet dreams.